This is question number three of exercise 5.2 from the chapter continuity and differentiability. The question is differentiate with respect to x sine of ax plus b. So we are going to solve this question again by two methods. First by using substitution method and then by chain rule. So to solve this question by substitution method, we should be knowing this result that d by dx of f of t, where t is a function of x is equal to d by dt of f of t into d by dx of t. Okay. So we have to calculate d by dx of sine of ax plus b. And we should be knowing this result that d by dx of sine x is equal to cos x. Okay. And uh, if we have to differentiate uh, sine of ax plus b with respect to x, so for applying substitution method, we are going to take ax plus b as equal to t. So this means that d by dx of sine t, okay, d by dx of f of t is equal to d by dt of, of f t, that is differentiate sine t with respect to t. So d by dx of sine x is equal to cos x, so d by dt of sine t would be equal to cos t. And uh, further, we would multiply that value with d by dx of t. So this would be equal to cos t into dt by dx. Okay. So d by dx of sine of ax plus b can be written as cos of ax plus b into d by dx of ax plus b because t here is equal to ax plus b. Okay. Now d by dx of ax plus b is equal to a into d by dx of x plus d by dx of b. b is a constant and d by dx of x would be 1 into x to the power of 1 minus 1. That is 1 into x to the power of 0 simply 1. So this would be equal to cos of ax plus b into a plus 0 or a into cos of ax plus b which is the required answer. Now we shall differentiate sine of ax plus b by chain rule. Now to solve this question first of all we are going to read this sine of ax plus b. So this means it consists of two functions. First is sine and then ax plus b. Okay. So d by dx of sine of ax plus b would be done like this. That because d by dx of sine x is equal to cos x. So d by dx of sine of ax plus b would be equal to cos of ax plus b into d by dx of ax plus b. Okay. So here sine sin differentiate to cos the terms in the bracket as it is and further cos of ax plus b is multiplied with d by dx of ax plus b and further we can write d by dx of ax plus b as a into d by dx of x plus d by dx of b this would be 0 this would be 1 and on simplification this would be giving me a into cos of ax plus b which is the required answer. So in this manner we are going to solve this question by chain rule. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.